Yes. All right, you're welcome back. We're still talking a Frif, the Africa International Film Festival. And I have here with me, um, Chioma Onyewe, Program Coordinator for Frif. Thanks for joining us. And of course, Queen Martins, yeah, Frif, you're also one of the scholarship participants. Exactly. Thanks for being here with us. Let's start with you, Chioma, now, because I have a lot of questions <laughs> on Frif. And um, why, why are we doing this? And it's the fifth edition, I know. And um, you probably have achieved stuff, which is why you keep doing it. What is the purpose of Frif? Uh, so there's another Choma, Choma Day, the founder yeah. of a just saying hello. <laughs> Is that a thing? Maybe should we change our names? Maybe that's how we get the job. <laughs> So yes, so the, I think the idea behind Afrif was to celebrate African filmmakers and to grow the industry from within and to create some sort of structure within the industry. Mm -hmm. um, Afrif has grown in leaps and bounds. I think every year she has this thought like, why am I doing this? <laughs> but then every year, you know, so many people buy into it, into all the aspects of the festival, the training, the film screenings, the industry sessions, the networking parties um, and the rest. So it's, it's just grown in lips and bounds. Uh, so many people have stories tied to coming to AFRIF. You know, I made a film from being in AFRIF two years ago. So there are so many stories, uh, 30 Days in Atlanta. There are just so many people that can tie so, um, relationships and connections to the, them. to the festival for the whole of the year. So Putting you on the spot a bit now, is this one of those things that we call Africa International, just in name? Is this not a Nigerian festival? It actually isn't. Okay. Uh, this year we're screening 180 films, for instance. Only about 40% of them are Nigerian. Okay. Um, if in the training sessions, people that went to Montana this year, three of them were from, two of them are from Ethiopia, one was from Kenya. So the idea is really to be pan-African. Uh, earlier this year, we partnered with South African uh, KZN, the uh, KwaZulu Natal Film Commission, and Durban International Film Festival. So there's a South Africa Day within the festival. There's Chinese Day in the festival. So there's, um, you know, from the Canadian Embassy to the Finland Embassy to Kenya to Ghana to Ivory Coast. So yes, it's definitely a Pan African and international festival. So just beyond the it's, Yeah, it's an okay. international Hope festival. You guys heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's you, Queen. Now, what is this scholarship about? What, what? Can you give us a story? What is that about? Okay, well, um, they picked um, 10 students. There were like different um, courses. So there was cinematography, there was directing, there was screenwriting, there was acting. And so they picked 10 of the best students. Well, I mean, I wasn't part of the initial 10, you know, so... to 11. <laughs> I wasn't even, you know. So, I mean, I think maybe it was just through the grace of God. I just got an email from Shema saying, oh, Queen, would you be available for the training? And I'm like, of course I would be. And then I found out it was Montana, and I was a bit skeptical. Montana cause in... Montana in the U.S., okay. you know, because, I mean, I hadn't been to Montana, and most people that I knew as well, who had been to the U.S. as well, hadn't been to Montana. So it was, you know, I'm like, uh... It's quite random. Yeah, isn't it? you know, <laughs> and of course, and with all the racial profiling going on at the time, it was like, um, I hope there won't be any racism and stuff, but the experience was totally different from what I expected, you know. It was, it was fun. It was being able to, I mean, it was being like, it was like filming National Geographic. Because the scene there, you know, the lecture was infused with fun. We had to go to different places. And um, what, what, what was really outstanding for me was a lecture with someone called Kelly Matheson, where she was talking really about the essence of using your content for social, you know, activism and really touching on social issues. So it was very, it was a very enlightening What did you experience. go for? Um, di directing. Oh, okay. And um, so this is a school. And how yes. long did this go for? Um, a month. Okay. It was four months. Great stuff. What, 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 what do you do these things for? What, what does Afrif get from all of this? I mean, we just talked to Gideon and Cheo, and they had this whole month spent at Relativity mm -hmm. School in LA. You're sending people to Montana. What is the point? Oh, well, the training was the initial kind of CSR for the festival. So every year, they trained over 100 students in, from screenwriting to um, cinematography to acting. Uh, and then it's, it's, I think it's grown beyond even the festival. Like last year, Ford Foundation came on board. We had a Desicon sponsor and they said, you know, they're going to take 15 students abroad. This year, they've come back and they said they're going to take 20. And then Africa Magic has come and said, we're going to employ 50 of the best. And then, you know, um, Afri, Ford Foundation came back and Afri Nolly and they said, you know what, we're going to commission them to make films after they come back. And then they're full scholarship. So it's, it, when something like that happens, I think you just have to say, you know, it's, it's, it's worth it's, it. It's worth it. It's worth it. And that's just the training alone. And then the, the connections, the networking that happens within the festival. There's so many, like I said before, there's so many kind of stories that come out of it. But then it's, it's, it's rewarding. And then it's, it's, it's a very rewarding enterprise. So uh, since you've been back now, when did you get back? 
um, got back in July. July. Okay. What's what's been your story since then with application of you know whatever it is you've learned? Um. Well. Um, well, I've, of course, I've been able to put what I learned into my work. I produce for Moments with Mo. And um, I've also started working on a film. And I don't want to discuss details yet. <laughs> yes, you know. And, and the networking was amazing because it opened doors for discussions with Ford Foundation and partnership with um, Afrinoli as well. So it's been very rewarding. Um, something I'd asked um, Gideon about festivals generally, you know, seeing how massive Nollywood is, festivals yeah. seem to be very new here, yeah. almost like we never really took it seriously. I mean, the one in Senegal, I think, Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso, yeah. Fespaco. Fespaco has been, you know, the one that everybody knows or talks about. Osmani Sembene, who's passed away, was like the father, you know, of, of film in, on the continent. But like Nigeria, what is going on? Now, Africa is coming and it looks like, yeah, it's, it's starting to get steady. I mean, it's five years now. Five years is probably a long enough time to, you know, say you, you've matured and all of that. Why are festivals not such a, not in our culture here, seeing as films have always, always been a part of, you know, our, our society here? Well, I think Fespaco has always been kind of celebrating Francophone Africa in yeah. terms of like the French cinema. So we don't make the same kind of films because our stories are story led. Um, so I think for. Maybe, yes, are more grant led. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Uh, we, 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 we go straight to the markets and yeah. you know, reach out straight to the people. Um, so for a long time, I think people have not. Well, people have sent their films out to film festivals, but then they are not. They haven't, it hasn't been part of us, basically. So for, for our FRIF, for the first four years, it's been completely free of charge. And it's mainly just teaching people what festivals are about. And it's very selective as well. We had like 600 submissions, and we only picked 100 and, about 120 from this the year submissions last year. this year. Okay. Um, so it's been very kind of key and selective. Um, so now they're getting, they, you know, the industry is being aware to, and yeah. the festivals here as well you know there's the abuja film festival yeah. mm -hmm. um there's um there, there are a couple of festivals here i know mm. there's lights camera africa um so it's it's it's, it's starting to yes so it's now more because festivals are more kind of like critique led and industry led and filmmakers right. putting yourself the out film. there is like a little... putting yourself out there like you know this is my film am i good uh, and nigerian films are more you know customer and market led um so now now it's a good <laughs> mix it's a good mix because films are are getting critical appeal, but they are also getting market appeal. So yeah. it's, it, I think, it's encouraging, encouraging the industry. Still, to, still staying to with you now, because I, I think I, I mentioned it to Gideon as well. You know about the the things that happen on the sidelines and the small seminars and yeah. you know talk shops and all of that that usually happen on the side. Some are usually very heated and controversial, <laughs> and you know here yeah, I, I was I, I was there in 2013, so I, I witnessed quite a few of them. I'm talking about you know the Nollywood divide, pretty much. The, I always say people say there are two industries. I say there are four. There's Nollywood. There's Kanywood, mm -hmm. there's a Saba, then there's the Yoruba side of things as well. You know, there's probably more, yeah. <laughs> even more than this four. You know, why, why, why are we not? Why do we even need to be one? Maybe that should be the question. Well, I think we're united with our passion. <laughs> <laughs> so at least we're all very passionate. Yeah. Um, but then, yes, we have different stories to tell. We have different experiences. So Nollywood is the, is the I think, the umbrella term. Um, but then people make different films. People tell that I don't think, I think it's the need to contain it as one and to report it as one or to give it a, a, an umbrella term or an umbrella name. Okay. But they make different, everywhere in the world, they make the different kind of filmmakers making different kinds yeah, of films. The and they the films they and identify <laughs> their different markets and they make their money and go. So you you might know, just there's, decide what there's really want. no need for any kind yeah. of like divisiveness. Mm -hmm. Just before we go, now so what's the website www.afrif.com um like you said you mentioned about sessions we have sessions from bank of industry we have master classes with uh, mildred okwo we have lighting design master classes within the festival we have a south africa day talking about co-productions so british a there's a lot british council is coming on board so there's so there's so much content within the festival as an industry member and then as um as a festive festival as a film lover as well yeah. you know the 180 so films anybody screen. can come even if you're everybody just, can watch film i can just go on afrif.com now and register yes even if i don't have one film to show <laughs> yes I mean, or critique. you like watching films. <laughs> Everybody is welcome. There's so many events. The opening film is on Sunday. Uh, we're inviting everybody to come. Okay. Afrif.com. That's A F R I double F. Yes, A F R I double F dot com. Thank you very much, Shama. Thank you very much, Thank Queen. You for I'm welcome. looking forward to the festival. I will try and sneak in once or twice. Hi. I mean, the films I always show are very interesting, so it would be nice to be there. Maybe not just for the parties. <laughs> <laughs> and even for that, I mean, that's a valid reason. It's something it's to go for. Reason, yes.
Well, like I always say, you can follow the conversation on Twitter, WineNiger.tv is the handle, the hashtag to follow to join Wine. You can also visit the website, WineNiger.com. Remember, you've never seen your people talk like this before. I'll see you next week.